Well, I'm sure you can't see it down in there, but I got the new coil put in. Generic off-brand Wells crap, but that was apparently the whole problem. Somehow in the minutes that it took me to change the coil wire, the coil died. So, I don't know. And I'm going to continue where I was. Cap, rudder, plug wires, spark plugs. Then I gotta get that all put back together, the air intake tube that you can't see because it's too dark. It's too dark. Solar panel's sitting in there. I'm gonna paint the 2x4 rack after I do a little bit more work on it. Yeah. So I got in this awesome box from the Amazon. Alternator belt. Gates, of course. Now these tire chains. They were 15 bucks off the Amazon. I don't have much faith in those. Uh, NGK plugs, of course. Cap and rudders from Wells as well. Yeah. Yeah, those tire chains, I don't have much faith in them. I don't really need them for snow. I'm thinking more mud. We'll see how they do. If they hold up. Yeah, I guess I better get back to working on this. Oh. Well, test fit of these chains. Fit pretty good. Once I figured out how to actually put them on, it was easy. So they're supposedly self-tensioning and they do have good tension considering there's no starfish bungee thing on there. A little concerned about the pattern on them with the diamonds, but looks like it shouldn't work decently. Again, I got these mainly for mud. Yeah, they got a uh, plastic ring that goes around the inside of the tire. I'm sure it's too dark under there to see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it will work. Not too sure about the long term durability, but see if they break after one use or if they last a couple times or what. This little plate down here is weird. I think these are pretty much just like knockoffs of the Thule 12 millimeter chains because they're self tensioning too. So, oh, it's obviously not designed for mud, but it's a link chain, it's not cables. Should do fine. Again, 15 bucks. I said a used decent change is about 30, so. We'll see, we'll see.